Hello, I'm Eloisa. Welcome to session six, an introduction to a series of case studies that will be presented in relation to the unit on how to make personal change and in this context, how to become a loving parent. Session six is going to be a series of real life examples which are going to apply the skills, qualities, tools and various experiments that you can immediately apply in your own everyday situation and it's going to be taking real life examples and applying principles of divine truth to those examples as illustrations of family dynamics and how parents can take some practical steps to make change in their family. The beauty of making a soul-based emotional change and having a personal aspiration to be a more loving parent is that if you deal with all the issues in a child when they're very young, which means you as the parent deal with all the issues that created those issues in the child when they were very young, if you deal with those, then you're actually setting that child up for a better life in their future and as an, and an adult. And the earlier you start, the better it is for the child. So the more that you can remove from yourself and not store anymore and emotionally release um, and the more you can be yourself and live in your passions and desires and understand God's truth and be truthful and be yourself and be humble to your emotions, that has a very, very positive impact on anyone who lives with you, but particularly children, because children respond, they're so open and natural, they've, they're born with humility. They're not born self-aware as we grow up, we become self-aware, but children are born with humility. And so they already are expressing their emotions. That's how they interact with the world. That's how they communicate. And so the more that we work through as an adult and become more sensitive to our emotions, and I suppose you could say like a child in our humility and the way we express emotion. So a child doesn't self-consciously think about expressing emotion. A child just feels they're happy, then they're sad, then they're angry, then they're frustrated then they're in whatever they're in. They're not thinking or analyzing or worrying or concerned about the way they feel. They're just feeling. And that is what we need to do as adults. We just need to feel what we feel. Because we've gone through such a desensitized um, Asian process um, to, as we've become adults and we've got a lot of techniques and a lot of methods that we use to shut down emotion and to suppress ourselves and to not do certain things. We've got a lot of terrors and fears that we don't want to feel and we've also got a lot of angers that we want to remain acting in because that makes us feel more powerful or we feel that we have more control. Actually, that is not true from God's perspective, but it is an illusion that we live under while we remain in that place. And anger just is an emotion that needs to be felt. If you have certain beliefs about it, you just need to feel those as well in order that you can actually express your anger and feel it. If your terror is just an emotion to be felt, if you have beliefs about it and you have blocks to feeling it, they just need to be felt as well in order that you can actually feel the terror. If you have beliefs and feelings about grief, then they're just feelings and beliefs that you need to feel in order that you can actually just allow and feel your grief. Every emotion you are capable of feeling, you can cope with. And to become a loving parent, that is part of the process that you will need to go through is resensitize to your emotions and be emotionally expressive. Allow whatever emotion you feel to be felt and expressed when you feel it. And the best time to do it is when you feel it in that moment. Um, I don't feel acting out of those emotions a loving thing to do. I do feel that just taking yourself off to the privacy of your own bedroom or if you don't have a bedroom like just go out into a, a quiet place out in nature or if you don't have that just find yourself a corner in the city or wherever you are. There's always the way that you can feel. There is and you can do it without involving other people in your process. It's an individual self-exploration and that is what this unit is about. It's about making personal change. It's about you looking at yourself first, making personal change and becoming a more loving parent. It's not about you trying to change someone else. It's about you making personal change. You can't. It's impossible to change another person. You can only change yourself. So this series of case studies is about personal change. Uh, that is the focus and it is looking at all the skills and techniques that we looked at in previous sessions and actually applying them to to real life. 
if you are watching this um, video way in the future, I may have moved on and be talking about a whole lot of other things in practical application of divine truth. So uh, this was made in 2022. And so there'll be a series of uh, discussions and presentations made in regards to these case studies. I suggest going to the Divine Truth website, which is where the source of this information came from. It is a teachings of divine truth as taught by my friends, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, also known as AJ Miller and Mary Luck. I have applied the teachings that they have taught. I have practically implemented them in my life. I have had very positive results and I know they work for certain. I know that if you sincerely apply it, that your life can substantially change in a pretty short amount of time. So in the last 12 years, my life has substantially changed. I wish you all the best and I look forward to sharing some real life examples with you. I'll see you next time.